In our readings of the Parshiot, of the Torah portions, we are in the second one of the entire year. This last week we rewound back to the beginning of the Torah. We started with creation. Uh, and this week we are in the second Parsha. This is the story of Parshat Noach, in, which is the Hebrew for Noah. It's the story of Noah's Ark, one of these beautiful kindergarten kind of stories. Think about all the animals aboard the Ark. This is one that uh, there's a lot of... Uh, there's great access to this. I think all of us have some kind of relationship with this story, those of us who grew up within Jewish tradition, uh, from even the time we were young, this imagining of the animals coming on board two by two. That said, even though this does seem like one of these partiotes you can teach to a kindergartner or a grade schooler, there is uh, there's an underlying darkness to this parsha, this idea that the world would be destroyed because of it was rotten or corrupt in some way. God looked at everything and said, nah, never mind, let's start over again. It's, uh, as much as we treat it sometimes, this is something that we can enter into as kids, it's actually a troubling thing to imagine. What if everything has gone so far off the rails that God says, you know what, never mind, let's try that again. Let's push the reset button on all of this. And so, as much as it is troubling, as much as we do wrestle with that as an idea, we had creation last week. Noah represents another kind of creation, another new creation moment in the sense. Noah, interestingly enough, was the first generation. He was the first one born after the death of Adam. We hold Adam to be the first of humanity in our tradition. Noah was the first one to be born after he died. In all of these generations, we read through and we see these lists of years that they all lived for 500 years and 365 years and these long um, strange intervals of life, but Noah is the first one to be born in a world that didn't have that first-hand knowledge of creation. Noah essentially has to set forward, put his best foot forward in a troubled time and take part in this act of creation. For in many ways, that's what that darkness and that corruption that Torah speaks to, uh, that is actually an invitation of sorts. It is a calling of its own. It is inviting us, calling us forward into a new kind of creation to look at the world and say, uh, something's off track here, something is off the rails. Uh, the flip side of that is that we are called to make it better. We are called to take part in creation. We are called to be present, each and every one of us, to bring forth our values, to speak our truths, and to help make our communities in this world a better place. This is the prime lesson of Noah, is when you are called and when things look really dark and these storm clouds are on the horizon, well, that's when it's time to step forward. That's when it's time to show some of that leadership and to live into making this a more holy and a more perfect place. Even with those rain clouds on the horizon, even with uncertainty, even with some of this darkness, it's what we're all called into uh, this Shabbat of Parshat Noach, to take part in the new creativity in the face of whatever the darkness may be. So with that, we'll begin reading and entering into the words of Parashat Noah. Amen.